a hefty suspension that we could see here, Woj, as we bring Richard Jefferson and Jalen Rosen to this conversation. Richard, I want to start with you here. Your reaction when you saw this yet again. My, my reaction? I won't tell you my reaction. Guns are a sensitive subject in my house uh, for some past prior uh, things. And so I was very quick. I was about to turn off the channel because I didn't want, I was watching the pregame and I knew about the news and I was going to turn it off really quickly. But then I was like, oh, I'll let it play because I didn't want my kids to hear that a guy that they know was playing with guns. And so I was like, oh, let me leave it on. So then all of a sudden my six-year-old is like, dad, that the John Morant, the one with the brace, I'm like, yeah, she's like, he's really good, isn't he? And I was like, yeah, he's in trouble because he was playing with the gun. And they were like, well, why would he do that? And I was like, son, I don't know. I'm like, would you guys like to see the video? So they run over, I show them the video. They're like, daddy, daddy, why was he doing that? I, son, I don't know. I can't answer. I was like, is that a good decision or a bad decision? My son was like, oh, that's a bad decision. I almost laughed because I saw his reaction immediately. And I was like, and buddy, this is the second time that he did it. They're like, he did it, he did it before. And I'm like, yeah, do you, I didn't want to show him the video. I was like, hey, do you guys want to see the picture? So I showed him the picture and they're like, daddy, why, why would he do this? And I'm sitting here like, Son, you are six, you are eight, and you can recognize that this is a terrible decision. So I don't know. I sit up here with my experience as a 43-year-old man. Mm -hmm. Jalen Rose is going to sit up here, and a damn six- and eight-year-old can look at what they were watching on television, see it on social media, and I wanted to show it to them because we have a very no guns, no, we don't play that in our house. I don't let my guns play. I don't let my kids play with any type of gun. I, we, we know those rules in black households. We don't play with any type of guns. And so for my six- an eight-year-old kid to recognize and be look at me with utter confusion and they were just like Dad, daddy why would I don't know so I'm not gonna sit down here and break down and say he needs to get this all I know is that if my little kids can see that that was a terrible terrible decision mm -hmm. I don't know there's no analysis for me to break down mm -hmm. it is a it, it, it's it's beyond any sort of analysis that's very well said and everybody knows I got a chance to sit down with them after the first situation yeah and what I gather is sometimes it takes young people longer to actually get the message, and usually that message comes into a stiff punishment. Mm. And what's going to now happen is it not only affects you clearly as an individual, but it's going to affect their entire offseason, affect their draft, affect their preseason, and affect the start of next season. So that long runway, Malika, is then going to be a, a revelation, hopefully, in his life to where his decision making has got to change. And Richard, you're exactly right. The key thing is not only having the gun, because depending on where you live, laws dictate whether you're able to have a gun. It's brandishing it and playing with it. Mm. That's where it definitely goes too far. And lastly, there are gonna be a lot of people that blame the people around you. Once you get drafted, you're the CEO. They're your friends, your families, in a lot of cases, your employees. Mm. So you're responsible for your behavior. And as a professional athlete, we all know, we're required to be role models, yeah. whether we accept that or not. If he was in a different profession, maybe an artist or an entertainer, people would look at the video different and maybe even cheerlead it. But because he works in the NBA and has a corporate job, that's just behavior that you can't have. I think back to the interview that you did with John Morant, Jalen, where he said that that's not me. The person you saw in that video is not me. Yeah. Now that this has happened again, as we heard from our senior insider, Adrian Wojnarowski, the league is going to have to look at this through a different lens and potentially with more severity now that this is a reoccurring behavior. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.